Well, hello, all my friends. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. My name is T and this is my channel, Crumpus T and Sewing. I also go by that handle over on Instagram. I'll put the link to my Instagram account in the description box below and you could go over and check me out. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three separate pattern reviews of tunic style patterns. So the first includes the Berta Young 6476. The second is the Simplicity S9014. And the third is the New Look N6683. If this is something that you're inter interested in, stick around and I'll tell you more about these three patterns and my experience sewing them. Berta Young 6476. This is a pattern that I made a couple of months ago and I did a pattern review of this one already on my channel and this particular pattern review I'll put the link in this in the description box below as well as in this video so that you could go over and check out the video. So I won't give too much details but I wanted to uh, give another review of this and give a comparison and a contrast of how it stacks up with the other two patterns. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do kind of a redo review of this one. So this particular pattern, like I said, I made a couple of months ago and I made a mock-up of it and I used a rib knit fabric. It's a black fabric and I purchased it from Walmart. So it wasn't no more than like two or three dollars for like two or four yards and it was really easy to work with and it was really light and, and drapey so I knew going into the project that this was going to be a mock-up and it, it wasn't something that I was really interested in wearing however I ended up saving the garment and I wear it it's actually really comfortable so let's start with the features of the pattern. So the pattern features six different pattern pieces. So you have your front, your back, both are cut on fold. You have a neck band, a sleeve band, a hem band, and then you have your lower sleeve. Now there are options that you can make. So there are two different views. You can do a crop top or you can do a long tunic. Now, the first version that I did for the mock-up and that you will see in the pattern review, the first pattern review that I did is of the crop top. However, I lengthen the top. Now, when I sewed this garment, the first garment, I found a couple of things. The first was that it was a little bit oversized. So the first time I went into the garment, I selected my size based on the tissue paper uh, sizes. So it does have sizes listed on the tissue paper and I selected it based on those sizes, the size range that they gave. So I decided to go with a size 14 the first time around. It was way too big. And so I had to go down two sizes and I went down to a size 10. So I did take that garment in quite a bit. Also, the sleeve, the lower sleeve was very, very long. And so I had to cut off about four inches or shorten it about four inches for the lower sleeve. For the first one that I did, because I did the crop top version, I really didn't, I wasn't interested in any other additions. So I didn't do the sleeve band and I did not do the hem band because the hem band wasn't needed for the crop top version. Now this pattern, like I said, it has four, it has six different pattern pieces, but you can use as little as three pattern pieces. So you can use, I'm sorry, as little as four pattern pieces. So you could use the front, the back, the lower sleeve band, and then the collar band. So you have to have that collar band. So you can't really omit that. So that was for the first um, make that I made. So later on, I decided I wanted to kind of have like a battle of the tunics type uh, video going on here. And so I decided to see how that particular pattern would stack up against the Simplicity S9014. So I went back to the Berta Young pattern and I selected different fabric. The first fabric that I selected for it is a blue 
uh, sweater knit fabric, but it is, it, it's, it feels much like a ponty knit or some kind of stable knit. So it doesn't have a whole lot of stretch in it. And so even though I took the garment down to the size 10, I think that was probably a poor choice for this particular fabric. I think I should have gone with the size 12 instead. Uh, the garment is a bit smaller. It's not small on me, but it doesn't fit like a tunic. It actually fits to size and it's a little bit more semi-fitted. So I decided to give it to my daughter because it looks better on her because it's supposed to fit like a tunic, a loose fitting tunic. And I'll put pictures in the video so you can see what it looks like on her. And it looks fantastic on her. I absolutely love it on her. But I would caution you, if you're working with a stable knit, you do want to go up a size and not down a size. Or at the very least, just choose the size that's listed on the tissue paper. I do love this pattern. I feel like it has a lot of benefits to it. I like the loose fitting style. I didn't really have to do a whole lot of adjustments. The adjustments that I did have to do, I already mentioned. Like I said, I had to shorten the, the sleeve band quite a bit. So it was about four inches. And I believe I also, yes, I lengthened the dress by two inches. Um, and that's that was mostly based on style, I think, style preferences. I wanted mine to hit like right at the knee or a little bit below the knee. And so that's why I adjusted it. I really don't think you really have to adjust it. But if you are tall, I would say you would definitely need to adjust it. But for us short people, I think it's kind of optional depending on um, where you want your, your tunic to sit. The other thing I wanted to say about this pattern, so I made it a third time and um, the third garment that I made is the one that I'm wearing right here. And I actually used all six pieces for this garment. So for the previous garment, so for the blue garment, I used all six pieces. And I also, for the first garment, for the, the crop top, like I said, I did not use all pieces. I used four pieces. Now for the gray the heather gray fam the heather gray top that i'm wearing right now or you can say it's a dress uh i purchased this from walmart as well and i think it was maybe two dollars for two yards of it and so the, the the pattern doesn't really need a lot of fabric to work with especially if you're short like me i use two yards of fabric to complete this look the lower band however um it is a very long piece. And so just keep that in mind. You might want to try to get two and a half yards, depending on if you want to lengthen your tunic or not. But that lower band piece, like I said, very long piece. So you want to make sure that you have enough fabric for that. Um, I think that's all the adjustments that I really had to do to this garment. I really like the way that it came out. And this last one that I'm wearing here, it is also a size 10 and it fits beautifully. And like I said, I think it's your fabric choice. You really want to make sure you pay attention to your fabric choice because that blue version is also a size 10, but it's more form fitting than I like. It doesn't have that tunic silhouette. So it's not loose at all. It's more of a, a closer semi fitted look. So again, just keep that in mind. Fabric choice is very important. So let's move on to the second and one. The second the uh, tunic pattern that I used is the Simplicity S9014. Now this pattern, I really love this pattern. Now the drawback to this particular pattern is that the neck band is attached to the body of the front and the back pieces. So it's actually, and I'll put an image here so you can see what that looks like. It actually is attached to the pattern. So there is no separate piece for the neck band piece. Now, the reason why I say that is a drawback is because if you want to have a wider 
neckline or a more drapier neckline, chances are you will also have to draw or redraft the shoulder line as well. So that's the only thing that I really don't like about this pattern. However, it's very simple and very easy. It goes together really, really fast. Uh, and I didn't really have to do any adjustments to this one at all. Um, I actually shortened the sleeve by two inches, but that is not a lot compared to the Berta Young where I had to shorten the sleeve piece by four inches. So it's, it, it really didn't take a whole lot with this. So it's a really beautiful pattern and I really like this one as well. Let me see if I'm missing anything. I don't wanna miss anything. So for this particular pattern, I selected a size small and the bust size for that is 44 inches. I also lengthened this garment as well. So the pattern for this one seems a little bit short. And so I lengthened it by two inches. And even with the hem band, I still had to lengthen it. So that is, I feel like the length of, of this pattern is questionable because on the patterns envelope the model uh, is seen wearing this particular garment it's about an inch above her knee about an inch or two inches above her knee without the hem band and without um lengthening that garment it came like well up like mid thigh and so after i lengthened the garment the pattern sorry after i lengthened the pattern two inches and attach the hem band, which the hem band is, I think a final, the final measurement of the hem band after seam allowance is about two and a half inches. So after attaching that hem band um, and after lengthening the pattern pieces for the garment, it actually hit at that knee area. So that's just something again to keep in mind depending on where you want your tunic to hit if you want it to be more of a dress or if you want it to be like you know thigh high or whatever um, that's something that you need to think about as well. The other drawback to the Simplicity S9014 I would say is the neck band or the neck area seems to be quite form fitting. Um, I don't really like that. I would like to have at least two, maybe three more inches of room in that area. So it hangs just a little bit more open. But again, that's more of a style preference. But if you look at the the envelope, it looks as if she has this really nice drapey uh, cowl almost neck line. And it's just not like that, as you can see on my my garment and I select it, like I said, uh, a size, if we were going by small, medium, extra large, whatever, that would be more around the small range. And um, it just, it it's just not like that. So this, the bonus of the pattern though, is that it is size inclusive. So with the Berta Young 6476, I don't feel as though that one is very size inclusive because the sizes are quite minimal. So let me see what the sizes are for that one. So for the Berta Young, the size is uh, US size 6 to 18 and European size 32 to 44. And that is a 39 and 3 8 7 inch to a 48 and 3 8 7 inch for the bus. So if we were if we were going by the extra small, small, medium, large type size range, this would range in between an extra small and a large. So it doesn't even go up to an extra large. So it's not very size inclusive for the Berta Young. However, for the Simplicity S9014, this particular pattern is very size inclusive. It goes up to basically a, a 2XL. So it goes from an extra, extra small up to a 2XL. And that basically equates to a 39 inch for the bus to a 60 inch for the bus. So I really, really like this pattern based on that. However, like I said, the drawback is that that neckline is a little bit too form fitting. So if we can get that neckline to be a little bit looser for me, like I said, this is a style preference. 
then I feel like it would be the perfect pattern. It's not, it does not have that many drawbacks for me. I mean, lengthening the garment and shortening the sleeves, they are just minor alterations that I actually can live with. The other thing that I wanted to mention, um, and and the thing that this pattern actually get bonus points for is practicality is very easy to sew so easy to sew i'm serious like even though i don't really like the fact that the neck band is attached to the front and the back pattern it's it, it's very easy and simple especially for beginners because you can just start your stitching line at the top of the neckline go down to the shoulder and I mean it's just so easy it's so so easy you don't have to worry about attaching that neckband it's so simple and so easy and in terms of sizing uh, this is where it gets another bonus point for me um, the sizing is pretty accurate I selected a size small and I didn't have to do any adjustments for that size so I, I stuck with that size so it's pretty accurate for for the sizing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and give you my review of the New Look in 6683. This one's probably my least favorite one out of the three, and, and that's because of the number of pattern pieces it has, how many adjustments I've had to make. It has, for the number of pieces that it has, it has things missing, and I'll tell you more about that. It's not a bad pattern, but stacked up against the other three, I feel like it would be uh, the, the one that I would go to last for beginners. <laughs> um, so it has nine pattern pieces. Um, the least amount of pattern pieces that you actually can use are four to five pieces. So it's not too bad because uh, remember with the Bird of Young, uh, the, the least amount of pattern pieces uh, were three to four. So it's not that bad. Um, it has two different variations and these two different variations are so different from one another in terms of the neckline for A and B that they included two separate front pattern pieces for views A and B. So you can't even use the same pattern piece for views A and B. So if you want to do both neckline variations, you have to cut out both patterns. So again, it has two separate patterns within that envelope for views A and B. And so for view um, A, you have just a regular, uh, kind of like a mock turtleneck. It's uh, a high a high neckband, and that is a separate neckband piece. So you will be attaching that to the front and the back of the garment. For view B, it has more of a cowl neck. And that's one of the reasons why it has two separate front, front sections and two separate bands for the neck band. That cowl neck, um, that neckline drops quite low. So it's not as high. And so you have more of a scooped neckline. And that's why you need that, that cowl neck pattern. And also the front um, pattern is different. So just keep that in mind when you are cutting out these pieces for the New Look N6683, you have two separate pattern pieces for that, for that view, for the neckband as well as for the front section. The back, however, uses the same pattern for both, a, for both views A and B. This pattern also features pockets, which I thought was really fun. And it's an addition to the pattern that is really fun and cute. However, it's really easy to draft a pocket and you can also draft a, a square pocket or a rounded pocket or whatever and place that on the Berta Young or the Simplicity S9014. The other feature that this pattern has, it also has a dropped shoulder, just like the, the other uh, three patterns or two patterns, I'm sorry. And it also features, it's, it's a closer silhouette. So if you look at the front of the pattern and you look at how the model is uh, wearing this particular garment, this tunic is more close fitting. So it's not a loose style at all. And for that reason, I 
think I would pass on this pattern in the future just simply because it's just not for my shape, especially for the fabric that I chose. So I chose a heather gray and black rib knit fabric from Joe from uh, Hobby Lobby. It's very scratchy, uh, scratchy and very loose. And I don't like the way in which this particular fabric match with the with the with the pattern it just it just was not a good match with it <laughs> um i also don't like the fact that the pattern i had to actually take the pattern in quite a bit and i'm not talking about um the sides i'm talking about pretty much everywhere um i had to take in the 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 drop shoulder was like way way dropped like more so than what it appears to be on the bottle and so I had to raise that up as I also had to shorten the sleeve I had to take in the garment I had to take in the pattern by eight inches so four inches on each side of the pattern and I felt like that was just way too much for um for this pattern it's supposed to be a semi um, loose fitting, not semi loose fitting. I'm sorry. It's supposed to be, uh, kind of close, semi close to the, to the body. And yet it's very, very, it was, it came out very, very loose. So eight inches, that just seems to be a little bit, it was just too much, um, of alterations that I had to do in terms of lengthening the pattern. I lengthened the pattern by, I think three inches, but again, that was just personal preference. It wasn't anything um, against the pattern or anything like that, but I had to do some major alterations to this particular pattern to get it uh, similar to what the model is, um, how the model is wearing this particular uh, garment. In terms of the size and the ranges of sizes for this particular pattern, it is not very inclusive at all. So the size for this particular pattern is for the US is four to 16 and for European it's 30 to 42. And that's going to be approximately an extra, extra small to a medium. So I chose a size of 14 and this is a bust of 41. So again, it's, it just depends on um, your preference and your style and what your size range is. I really enjoyed working with these three patterns. Above all, I would definitely choose the Simplicity S9014 just simply because it has the silhouette that I'm looking for. Um, it has fewer pattern pieces. It's very easy to sew. I did not have to do that many adjustments. And even though it doesn't have a sleeve band, I feel like um, everything else kind of falls in place. And although I also don't like the closeness or the how the the collar area is very form fitting, I feel like it will be easy to adjust that. And it's just, it will be less of a hassle for me to adjust that than to make all of the adjustments the adjustments that I had to make with the Berta Young pattern and the new look pattern. 
So again, it just depends on your style, your preference, your size range, and all that. That's going to determine which one of these patterns actually fit best for you. But I do love the Simplicity S9014 and I would highly recommend that one. The other two patterns are not bad patterns. It's just like I said, they do have some drawbacks. And even the Simplicity S9014 has um, a little bit of a drawback for me as well. But again, they are they all are beautiful patterns, but I definitely would choose the Simplicity S9014 as um, a, a wardrobe staple. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can receive notifications of all my videos when I post them. All right, everyone, I hope you have fun and I can't wait to hear from you soon. And until next time, Stay creative, everyone. Bye.